Okay, we're back and I swear this is the last part of Let's Play Mega Man and Base for the Super Nintendo slash Game Boy Advance Mega Man's playthrough. Um, the memory card clocked out, but that doesn't really mean much because I've just, just been doing the same stuff. Come on, Wiley. Now you're fucking dead, you stupid cocksucking bastard. Hopefully it's over. Hey, man, welcome home. Yep, yep. Woof, woof. You are so amazing. Good work, Mega Man. Oh, what's troubling you? You don't look so happy. I wish I was a little more efficient than I could have saved King. Don't let it get you down. Why don't you show him that role? Here. It's a letter for you. A letter from who? Isn't this a seal familiar to you? The letter reads, Dear Megabond, it took a better, a better for me to realize that I was wrong. From now on, I'd like to atone for my crimes against people whom I cause such pain and suffering. I pledge my loyalty to world peace until the day that faith of robots is restored. If I were to meet again, would hope it will be as friends and not enemies. Your friend, King. King's alive! I wish him the best of luck. The end. And I've collected 17 out of 100 CDs. And that is Let's Play Mega Man and Base Mega Man Playthrough. Now, I would normally give you the statistics I always give you, like play control, graphics, animation, music, sound effects, plot, difficulty, replay value, polish, overall, pluses and minuses. But... There would be a little problem with that, because reading over what I've written down so far, a lot of these things stick with base. So, next time, I'm going to do base's playthrough, and then give you my thoughts on this game. Although you probably already know what difficulty might be, but I may surprise you. See you next time. We'll be playing Let's Play Mega Man and Base, base's playthrough. See you then.